great. Thanks so much for stopping by. We are having our Easter yarn party. This is the husband. Hi, Justin Crochet. Hi. He's doing fabulous. Can you move the lamp away? It's sure. blowing out my seam. There we go. Good? Oh, much better. But the bright white light makes all the colors much. of the yarn not very <laughs> vibrant on the iPad. Hope you're doing good. We're going to be swatching. I love this yarn. Actually, it's I love this cotton. Because I found out last week that I do not have a swatch of I love this cotton in my entire basket of swatches. Which is insane because I love this yarn. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <sighs> so I brought, I wanted to show this too. Because it's so, so pretty. And I figure, why not show this in case anybody hasn't gotten a chance to see it in person. I know Hobby Lobby's not everywhere. So I just wanted to share. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. But I love this cotton. It's one of my favorite. I use it for dishcloths. I'll use it for garments. I'll use it for stuff. Hey there, Sharon. Hey, How's sure. it going? We just popped in on Tuesday. We'll still be here for our regular Wednesday at 10 a.m. But I wanted to do a little Easter fun. So I figure best to do that in the morning. Hey, happy home crafts. How you doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> That's him. <laughs> That's our other channel. Hey, sure. Oh my gosh. So we do have to have some I Love This Cotton in the 10,000 giveaway. We're coming up on 10,000 really fast. We're under 100 away. I'm so, so, so excited. Please share me with your friends. I don't usually ask this, but I'm pretty excited about this number. So close. I know. I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I... So I was just looking and I'm trying to collect things for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. And I think I do have to have some I Love This Cotton in there. Okay. And we also have the March giveaway coming up. Sure. This is my husband, Justin Crochet. Nice to meet you all. He's super easygoing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to be to deal with me. <laughs> can you hear me okay, babe? I can hear you great. Okay, yeah. cool. Because I do have a little microphone in because I have the table here because I'm going to do a what's in my... Yarn bag. This is my to-go bag. Like, if we're going on, away from the house and I'm crocheting. Oh, that's cool. 2,000 comes. It'll come. It's just, you don't have to worry. You don't have to work hard. You don't have to look at it. I mean, you could do things to up it, but then it just goes back down. You want it to be organic. <laughs> um, I've been doing this for a few years now, and I think the hardest thing was the first 1,000. And then after that, it just kind of trickles. Plus, I have been super irresponsible about my channel. I mean, the last year, we moved. We, we were busy. We were so... <laughs> we've moved... Gosh, I think two times since I started the channel. But last year was a really big move. Plus, everything was wild and stuff. So, I hardly posted for... I think three of the years, I was really diligent the first year. The second year was me. And then we got pretty focused on everything about six months ago. But I wasn't able to, I lost my Crojo. Plus last October, Crochet Mojo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got it. But, <laughs> <It's> pretty awesome. <laughs> but last year I made this fingering weight shawl, which is, I'm glad I made it, kind of. But I did not want to crochet for about a month or two after that. That made it really hard to do the tutorial videos and stuff. But I'm back at it full force now. <laughs> it was bad. I'm just like, I just don't want to do this. And then after that, you know, you start back up and your hands are like achy. You have to get, you have to cross train. I call knitting. You have to cross train. Yeah, I call knitting cross training because it uses your hands in a different way. Really? Yeah, because crochet, this left hand doesn't move much. It just kind of stabilizes. And when that happens in a backward manner. I thought you meant you were like out throwing tires. And yeah, stuff. I'm, I'm throwing tires <laughs> while knitting. Hey, Kennedy, good morning. Hi, How are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, so we were just talking about the 10,000 giveaway. Oh, thank you. Oh, she subscribed a long time ago. Oh, cool. Sharon's my people. Hi. But yeah, and then I found out a little bit ago that my husband hasn't subscribed, so I took care of that for him. I've been subscribed for a while. I think so. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> no. What? No. 
Go get my business cards. They're in front of my monitor on the computer. I got myself a present this week. They're very cool. They're really cool. I was watching somebody on YouTube, and she showed hers, and I had to get them pretty much instantly. But like I was saying, we're going to swatch the I Love This Cotton. I have some cottons just in case because, like you were saying, it's not in Canada. There's a lot of places, even in the U.S. and everywhere, that don't have Hobby Lobby, so I'm going to compare it to you. But here's what I bought Thank me. You. Thank you, pumpkin. Get started on your schooling or whatnot. But check that out. I got business cards. And that's not the good part. Like, I wouldn't have just gotten business cards because, I mean, I haven't. Usually I just tell people what they need to know. But the back has my pertinent infos and such with all the social medias. But the front has something that subscribes people. So I can keep it, not give it to them. Just put it in front of them. And, honey? Yeah. You want to go ahead and walk over here? You look creepy. I'm sorry. I'm watching the chat. I can move the computer. Let me Got see. It. Oh, there we go. We still have the light totally killing the scene. I love it, Sharon. I got him over at Zazzle. There we go. Highly suggest. I, this is not sponsored or anything. I was watching some girl. I want to say her last name is Sparks. She's completely uncrochet related. Oh, did we get the lamp out of the way? Awesome. It blows out the yarn when we have the lamps in the background. Oh, Kennedy. Uh, that's thanks, so Kennedy. sweet of you. <laughs> but, yeah, I love it. <laughs> I'm like, people can, because the first thing everybody says is, how do I find you? And it is hard to find people. We were talking to a guy at the bank, and he had a channel, and it... It was so hard for us to find this guy's channel, and he was giving us the name of it. We didn't want to be weird, because then it's like, can you spell it a different way and stuff? But, yeah, we finally found it. Thank goodness. It was so weird. Do you remember where you got those business cards? Zazzle. Zazzle. Mm -hmm. okay. Z-A-Z-Z-L-E. And not, I mean, there's nothing sponsory about it at all. I just was so impressed by the idea because, like, people just click there and their phone subscribes them. They take a picture of it with their phone camera and poof, they're subscribed. Yeah, automatically links you. Yeah. I mean, if they don't want to subscribe, I'm totally fine with that. But if they do and I can't help them, I'm like, oh, man. Because a lot of times in line at Joann's and all the craft stores or at the um, craft fairs when they come back, I'm hoping <laughs> we will have craft yarn shows again this year. I missed them so much last year. We had no fair, which it's, is okay. Yeah. We only go to the fair in Texas every other year because it's massive, but I'd like to have it this year just because. <laughs> I'm not sure where it would be around here. The fair? Yeah. It'll yeah. still be in Dallas. Oh, oh, okay. The yeah, Dallas. that's the Texas State Fair. Yeah, they have like a park for it. So it's massive. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's days and days. And the craft stuff is amazing. And hey, Marilyn, how's it going? And hey, Marilyn. food, we only get one thing when we go to the fair. Not like, oh, one specific thing. I usually get a turkey thing. leg. We do like the turkey, turkey leg. leg. Yes. Arr. But as a rule, <laughs> like, we get one thing. It's different for me every year, but... One thing, because if I start having a ton of fair food, I'm not going to feel good. They fry everything. They do. They fry Things that don't chocolate, need to be fried. ice cream, whatever. Oh, my gosh, Sharon. Oh, but Nova Scotia looks beautiful. Do they ship well? How is your shipping time there? Oh, that's so cool, Kennedy. Yep, we love a fair. We came from the L.A. area, so we had the L.A. fair, and now we're in Texas, and we have the Texas State Fair in Dallas, which is totally cool. It's massive. It's, it's funny, because they have the uh, the mascot. Was it Big Tex? Big Tex. <laughs> it's just this giant, like, uh, cowboy that sits in front of Oh, it's, it looks, I've seen pictures of Nova Scotia. <clears throat> it's just like, it's like postcards everywhere you look. It's, I'm like, Wow. <laughs> but oh have you seen pictures of nova scotia in canada not that i can remember i'll show you later it's gorgeous yeah mm -hmm. and after reading anne of green gables i always wanted to go to prince edward island mm -hmm. hmm. cool <laughs> <laughs> you can tell he's a guy and did not read 
<laughs> Green, Anne of Green Gables. I can make you watch the TV show, but it's not nearly as good. I think they watched it. Yeah, it was not as good. Did you guys see the TV show Anne of Green Gables on Netflix? It was dark. I'm like, this is not what I'm looking for when I'm looking at Anne yeah, of Green like Gables. Yeah, like the family she came from was terrible. Well, they were originally too, <laughs> but it didn't have her inner dialogue for the optimism. Ah. Uh, that's kind of where you got the optimism, and it's hard to have your inner dialogue, like, in a TV show. Gotcha. You'd have to have, like, a narrator. Constantly speaking her thoughts. <laughs> but I love Dan of Green Gables. And I did bring some other cottons to compare it to, just in case anybody's curious. Like, this is the one at Walmart. So this is the mainstays, which I think is as close as you get at most stores to the cotton of I Love This Cotton. Oh my gosh, isn't it amazing? Hey, honey. And I know you meant Anne and not end. <laughs> Everybody always fixes their typos. I'm like, I speak phonetically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you know, okay, have... <laughs> oh, I missed. Oh my gosh, I miss the ocean. Yes. It's really the only thing from California we miss. I mean, you might miss some other stuff. What do you miss? From California? Yeah. Uh, the thing I miss the most, honestly, is the sunsets. Yeah, they have beautiful sunsets. We have when, great sunsets here, yeah. though. I mean, we have pretty sunsets. The we sky have great is sunsets. huge. We really see ocean in the sunsets because yeah. when the, the sun drops behind the ocean, it's amazing. Oh, I love all of the. I read all the books. They were all good, but none were as good as Anne of Green Gables. The second one was <laughs> really good. Ooh, is it Anne of Anne Anne of Avalon? I forget. But, um, yeah, I like that one. After that, you know, they dwindled a little bit, but they're all really, really good. I read them all in, like, big chunks. Every once in a while, I just have an Anne of Green Gables chunking. Yeah. It's a good time. Hmm. My husband's like, what are you talking about? It's a book about a girl. She, oh, yeah. has, she has red hair. Yeah, we watched the show together on Netflix. Are you saying I made you do it? No. Um, so anytime my wife starts anything on Netflix or anything, oh. I cannot help but watch it's just natural. It does so. <laughs> I don't force him. Oh, how oh, is cool, Kentucky? The moonshine's interesting. We have been we have sampled the moonshine. That's where our gale's from. I imagine it's different from different people, though. I don't know. Oh, you think so? Yeah, they like homebrew. Oh. <clears throat> I would think that you know, woo, it's strong. But I was comparing. So this is the one from Walmart, the Mainstays Cotton, and this is, I love this cotton. I would say the only difference is this one's a little bit stiffer than the I love this cotton, meaning like when you squish the strand in particular, it's got a little bit more body to it than the I love this cotton. So it's got a little bit more density to the strand. And the I love this cotton, you get... For $3.79, but I only buy it when it's 30% off, you get Help me. Do you see it? There it is. Three and a half ounces, 100 grams is 180 yards. And for the cotton from Mainstays, you get 180 yards. Three, it's the same exact. But this looks a lot bigger, right? I, it's just a denser strand. Must not weigh anymore. No. These look the same to you? Um, to me, the colors are different, but the strands themselves look the same. <laughs> <laughs> and then to compare, I got a little bit more expensiveness. This is the Cascade Pima cotton, which is what I would usually use for clothes. And you can see it's just got a little bit more shine to it. And it washes better. It will... It tends to keep, like if you're making a garment, you want to wash and not have it change after a few washes. The Pima cotton is better. And it's not that expensive. This is cheaper, but you get more in these. I forget how much exactly. I have three of these, but I've taken the packaging off all of them. I love that coral color. I know it's called Deep Coral, and this is the... Ultra Pima cotton, not the fine. So this is DK to worsted weight. 
and it's got a little shine and it's great. It just drapes so nicely. But so does this. It's a little bit cheaper. It just doesn't wash up as well and it lacks the shine. So, and both of them feel really great in the hand. Yep. Yeah. Oh, they're nice. They really are. They're good cottons. They're both 100%, which means you want to swatch out what you're making and wash it and take care of it however you're going to take care of your garment. Otherwise, it might shrink. Then to compare, one last compare. <laughs> Just in case you're not looking for a garment, you wouldn't make dishcloths out of this, but you would out of this. So this is some dishcloth cotton in my husband's favorite color. Uh-huh. Hey. I like yellow. Yeah. It's so bright. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> and for this, you can see the difference. This is just a bit denser, get a lot less. This cost a couple dollars. This is $2.29. I want to say $1.97, right around there, is what the Lily Sugar and Cream dishcloth cotton is going for at my Walmart right now. So it's all around $2. I go with the, these sometimes because they'll be 30% off of the $2.29 and they have just a better color selection over at Hobby Lobby than I do at my Target for my dishcloth cotton. But I'm not picky about either one. If I want a dishcloth, I'm going to have a dishcloth. There you go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kennedy says the second one is called Anna, but, um, Avonlea. Avonlea. Thank you. But yeah. And oh my gosh, I like that one. I'm going to have to check on the TV show because I did kind of give up on it just a little bit because it, it got dark. I didn't want to see, they showed me what was going to happen next and it was like bad stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to see bad things happen to these people. That's <laughs> not fun. Shall we crack it open? What do I do? Pull off the label, honey. Like, ready? Yes. There you go. Okay. All right. Isn't it the bus? <coughs> sure. Let me see. I meant the tearing off the label. Um, that was actually my first. Really? Yes. Satisfying. Am I right? Yes, it was. Oh my gosh. Don't <laughs> do it to anything else. Oh, you made my bucket. Shush. In hot pink. Oh, cool. White, lavender, violet, indigo, and peach. Oh my gosh. So hot pink, white, lavender, violet, indigo, and peach. I'm trying to think of a yarn that I've seen in all those colors in a variegated. What was the brand? That sounds so pretty. I need one of these. Okay. We're going to go. This is a worsted weight yarn. This is probably why I haven't swatched this because I always swatch my worsted weights on a J hook, but this is so little. I mean, they suggest. Hi, Vivi. Hi. A five and a half milliliter crochet hook. It's so little for that. I'll do it because they told me to. But uh, that's an eye hook, if I remember correctly. H. Here's my eye. I usually like to use a squeaky hook to see how they feel, but I know there's no squeak in this cotton. It's cotton. So, first question answered. Is this yarn squeaky? No. The I love this cotton is not squeaky. Hi. 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 So, what'd you guys do this weekend? Did you make anything? Gosh, what did we do this weekend? I'm swat. I just chained with the tail. Whenever I do tutorials, I'm like, don't chain with the tail. It's because I do it every time. <laughs> Chaining for 23. There you go. I'm done counting. Sorry about that. So what did we do this weekend? Uh, not much. I made a sign or a couple signs. My husband made signs. <clears throat> we drove out. We saw his brother yesterday, mm -hmm. which was nice. I'm just double crocheting back for 21 total. Not really worried about the sizing on this. It's more how the stitches are going to be separated, and they will be. I always use a smaller hook, like a G on my I love this cotton garments or else they are gappy 
but I will say that the yarn blooms with washing. It does get bigger. Um, Taylor crocheted a baby blanket and did some reading. <laughs> Kennedy used the yarn. Was uh, It was Red Heart Super Saver. The one for that, I guess. Oh, the pooling. <clears throat> Let me look at the colors again. She said hot Wait, pink, happy. white, lavender. Lavender, violet, indigo. Oh, and how peach. pretty. I bet that was so pretty. Ooh. Marilyn. That's amazing. She finished her sweater. Awesome. That must take some time. Yeah. I've been really bad about mine. I'm working on an Easter sweater. It will be done by Easter. Because it's the color of Easter grass. So I kind of have to have it done. But this is the bottom of it. I know. It doesn't look like I've done much. But I've done the sleeves. I always start with the sleeves. Because everybody says you're on Sleeve Island after you make a sweater. So I just use them first. <laughs> sleep island uh-huh because you just it feels like you make the whole body of something uh -huh. and then all of a sudden you have to you make the sleeve and you're like cool but you got a whole nother sleeve to make it's like oh wow <laughs> i'm not done <laughs> but yeah so this is where i'm at it's going to be super super simple and i'm using limelight <clears throat> from i love this yarn and a j hook so she's sitting there but she hasn't gotten a lot of attention this week at all and in a few minutes, after I do my swatch here with you guys, we're going to go through my yarny bag. It's kind of a what to my purse for crochet people. Because don't you always wonder what's in a great big yarn bag? I mean, there's just so much stuff in there. And if we get a chance, we're going to crochet an egg together. Have you guys crocheted any Eastery stuff this year? Can you excuse me for a moment? I can. All right. Miss you. Be right back. Okay. I'll hold down the fort. All right. I'm just having decaf this morning. So, let's see how it's going. So far, now I do know some things about I love this cotton. It is rather drapey for a cotton. It is going to be much drapier than if you use dishcloth cotton on a garment. So, yes, it is drapey. Not as drapey as some silky fingering weight yarn, but it is really drapey for a worsted weight cotton. So you could tell it, it will fall, which is nice, especially on a hook this size. This is an eye hook. So I got my, let's make sure I have 21. Okay. 21 total, awesome. And we went ahead this weekend and, oh, lost my thought. We have to make the chicken coop soon. The chickens are getting big. I'm gonna put this down for a second and look into my yarn bag. Okay, so here it is. This was a gift from my son. Hey. Hi. We are taking a break from the swatching. Okay. And we're going to do a what's in my bag. Sure. So do you know what's in here? Uh, yarn? No. What? There's literally no yarn in here. Um, hooks. Yes. <laughs> he knows. Okay. So I have this on here. This was a gift. I usually have a hand sanitizer in here too which is totally cool and this is like what I take if we like go somewhere overnight or if we're gonna be away from the yarn and I'm making some projects and I always have a notebook there's probably like three notebooks in here and it's full it's heavy and I love this part up here because it can hold like the hook that you're using right now so it doesn't go anywhere but then I put everything away afterward What's that circle hook thing? This is what you, it's a, it's a stabber. Oh, wow. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. When you do cables and you're making something, you have to take, like, it's for knitting. And you take the loop that you're using off of your hook, your needle for a second, and you have to work beyond it. This holds on to stitches so they don't 
fall it back into the knitting. Because oh, okay. if you look at like knitting, it's a bunch of loops and loops and loops and loops. Sometimes mm-hmm. you have to cross them over each other. So this is called a cable needle, and this is an older one. They're usually metal now, but this is a vintage one. I love the hard plastic stuff from the 60s. Cool. It's nice. I always have a nail file. I'm not that big on my nails, but there is when you're crocheting or knitting and your nails are catching your project, it drives me insane. So I always have a nail file in case I need to like file down some haggard part of my fingernails. And the same with the lotion. I don't like a bunch of, I have the stinky lotion. By stinky, I mean it smells pretty in here. But I also like sometimes just petroleum jelly for lotion if your hands are dry because it's not sticky and it doesn't have a bunch of perfume and you know what I mean sure do you like it when your hands smell like perfume um not particularly exactly (laughs) so if I'm making something like a baby hat I don't want it to smell like my hand lotion so I'll probably have a couple in there this is the glasses for you know it's a really strange situation But it's like, it's the reading glasses because I see fine right here, but when I wear my contacts, I can't see right in front of me Mm -hmm. because they're adjusting my eyesight. So the eye doctor will just wear corrective glasses that you buy like at the store when you're wearing your contacts for looking at crochet. (laughs) And it works. So I'm like, okay. (laughs) And this is my clover. Getting in there. There's a lot of stuff in here. I have no idea what this is. Oh! Oh, this is for when we're swatching together. I'll use that. But I got this. And it's my Clover Soft Touches. And I got this whole thing at Joann's. I probably told you guys this a million times. For $9. Filled up with hooks. And one of the highlights of my life. It's very cool. Yeah. Uh, I, it, yeah. I was beside myself. I'm like, <gasps> yeah. It was a moment. It was years ago, but I'm still really excited. And my name's Melody. It's really nice to meet you. If you're just joining us, please hit that subscribe button and like if you like crochet-related content. But this is my Melody. And I've collected my Melody stuff forever. And I love these because you always need to make little notes to yourself about crochet, like what row you're on or something. So I'll just jot it down here. I keep lots of pens in here. And I'll just jot down what I'm doing and write myself a note, especially if I don't think I'm going to be working on the project for a couple of days. And in here, I love, 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 love microns. These are pencils. And this is a purple pen. It's a purple jelly roll because important, and a purple highlighter. All of which you need whenever you put on patterns, like written patterns. Right, babe? I'll believe you on that one. Totally. Snizzers. We're gonna, we have to play count the scissors. And a bunch of scissors. the big measuring tape. <laughs> I like to keep it really organized in my bag, and this is exactly how I organize it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with him because he laughs at my jokes. So you organize your bag by crumpling it up? Into yeah, exactly. See? <laughs> He's awake. He's awake. <laughs> and these are the... That's not exactly organizing. It, it's kind of organizing. These are <laughs> the best. And I know I shouldn't say blanket statements. And everybody has opinions and I respect yours. But as far as crocheting stitch markers... These are just the best. They won't snag. They don't lose their sharpness. They open up. I have a it's lot of stitch marker. Boy, yeah, that's the brand. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have a lot of ones that don't open up. These are all stitch markers that I've been gifted with. Wow, that's a lot of stitch markers. <clears throat> There's my melody. Isn't she cute? I like the taco. That's I'll awesome. Go. I made that. That's beautiful. I made that taco. I like it. Mm-hmm. I should make them again. We should do a video on making the tacos. <coughs> Excuse oh. me. <coughs> Sorry. But these are my favorite, and I love them in multiple colors because then you can, like, mark the middle and mark every 10 and things like that. But, yeah, I 
love these stitch markers and I always keep a bottle cap in there so because how many times do you increase every other row so many times so when that's the case I keep a bottle cap so I flip it and then every row I flip it so if it's on this row it's a Zima if it's on this row I'm not increasing this row and if this is up then I am increasing and I just flip it every other row because so many times you increase every other row <laughs> yeah so I have that and then like I showed you I, I do have pretty much every one of these that I or anybody else ever made for me it's stitch marker town <laughs> it's my flip flop that's so cool. Yeah, and there's my bee, and there's my little sugar skull, and my book. Oh my gosh. Do you see these? Yeah, they're yeah. fun. They're awesome. I have little women. Oh, and I love Cantan Cantan trippers. It seems like I have too much, but honestly, I just love all of these. So, they have to stay with me. Kelly says so she loves a good stitch marker. Me too, Kelly. How are you doing? And good morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, my taco fell off. Oh, no. We'll Not the taco. Not the taco. But, and I was gifted pie. Mm. Does this not look just like pie, though? What did you make this out of? Clay. Polymer clay. That's really cool. I'll show you how to do it later. We'll, we'll make a video. Okay. Okay. And this is liquid stitch. Which, amigurumi, things that you just don't want to come off. If you have fraying yarn at the end, sometimes you just need the liquid stitch. I have been known to liquid stitch eyes on. I know it's cheating and it's not as good as sewing them on. But sometimes you just do stuff. Crazy stuff. Local. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, for some reason, a random keychain. This is a coffee or cold cup snuggly that my friend made me. And let's say, because it's when you're cute. crocheting, you don't want your hands to be wet. Uh -huh. So it's good to have like condensation issues handled. So it's a puppy. What happened? Kenny says uh, her hat was very pretty, but also incredibly bright. I hear you. I too am, re I am attra uh, att attracted. Mm -hmm. I'm attracted to bright, bright colors. And then I'm like, I can't wear this everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, I'm shy. <laughs> and then there's this. This is Snow Snag Snaps, which is plastic edges that will not cut thread. And somebody showed them to me online, and I ordered them online, and I've never used them. But I guess we'll sew them on. That's the outside. The inside looks the very same. So there's two-sided snaps. Let me know if you've used these. They're in here just so I don't forget that I have them. They show how they're used on the back. But I do want to use them at some point. Hey, baby. What, what's it for? They're snaps. Like oh, like a, a button? Like on a sweater. And okay. you sew them on. Yeah, so you should okay, just I use gotcha. thread to sew them on. Cool. And, but they're no <clears throat> snag. Hi, how are you doing, Connie? Nice to see you. We were talking about making bright colored hats. I'm going through my bag here and we are slowly but surely swatching I love this cotton because it's the Easter party. This is Ginger Amber Lolo Bar. Lolo Bars were super popular a little while ago and they might still be. I don't hear much about them. Oh my. What is it? It's a solid perfume lotion. So this one is Ginger Amber. Like just... Yeah, you just touch it. Touch it. Like a beeswax? Yeah, like a. How do you say? There's stuff in here. Lanolin, usually. Ah! <laughs> um, lanolin and things like that. It's for when your hands feel dry. Gotcha. And, but like I was saying, that's why I have the petroleum because I don't always want my baby hats to smell like ginger amber. Nobody's looking for that when I make them a baby hat. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> and this is the best thing ever. This is for like when you're crocheting in the car. I'm, I'm going to try not to blind anybody, but it's a light that you hook onto your hands. Now we have the neck lights too now, which are fabulous for in bed, but this is fabulous. The movie theater. With the movie theater? I have. <laughs> With the kids. Um, if it's a boring movie, yeah, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, you just 
open it up and it turns on. It has a big old clip on the back. And this battery has lasted forever and it takes regular batteries. Is it one of the Ot lights? Yeah, it's the Ot lights. So like the table brand Ot lights. Is it your thing? Are you okay? Yeah. There you go. Looks like I'm about to elbow you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. My energy is big. Random hook I covered with granny square looking polymer clay. I love playing with clay. Do you guys play with clay? And always the post-its. Always in a bright color. Even the little ones. Also, this is the smaller size of the cable hook. Huh? Cool. Sure, sweetie. Yes. Kelly likes the color of your nails. Really? Thank you. I'm up for the Easter. This is oh, actually... Mm-hmm. I'm an Easter egg. I'm actually... Nail polish falls off my nails, like, a couple hours after I put on it because all the washing and all the rubbing with the yarn and stuff. So I use gel at home from Amazon. It's amazing. This will be on for a week without chipping. And, yeah. So it's been, like, three days now. And normally it would be half off if it was regular nail polish. But I love the gels. Right? Cool. Right? I'm you do have like to them. nuke your hands, though. It's kinda... Oh, with that... Uh... So I bought With the UV light. Yeah, I have the UV at home because everything's at home now. I do my toes too, and it stays on my toes for like weeks. But the hands will be like a week or two, and then it peels off. Slight damage, but I don't have to worry about it because they're strong as anything once you put that gel on there. I love it. Random eyeballs. Of course, everybody needs a bag of random yeah. eyeballs. <laughs> These are some 16 millimeters. <laughs> this is for my phone um, right now I have a pop socket but it, when I on cases that I don't I just stick this to the back of my phone so I can like watch it because you can't crochet without watching your phone right yeah <laughs> you like it yeah that's cute this is an acorn that my son gifted me they're lucky Nail polish remover for the same reason we just discussed. Sometimes my nails go south really, really fast. Another hand lotion. This one is Rose Oil Ultra Moisturizing from Trader Joe's, which actually smells really good. You're probably going to smell the ginger amber also, but... That's lovely. Mm -hmm. I like that one. It's really fresh rose. It's not like heavy duty. More pens and pencils and more nail files. I really don't like it when my nails drag on my yarn. And more pink post-its. This is for, actually it's a crochet hook that you put on a keychain. I usually hang it from the front of this bag that fixes your knitting. If you drop a stitch, you use a crochet hook. Hopefully you know which direction. I never get the direction which way to pull up right, but at least I haven't dropped the stitch. I can fix it later. That's cool. Yeah, you just go after that stitch and pull it through the holes to fix your knitting with a crochet hook. So, very important. Another random crochet hook. Tabs. Oh my goodness. Another. <laughs> Let me help you with that. Good luck. Good luck down there. Thank you. You're welcome. Here you go. Um, another hand lotion. This one's Chai Spice Tufts. I can't pass a knitter-related hand lotion without buying one. So I keep them because, oh my gosh, Chai Spice. So it's just like a Chai Spice latte. Hey, I got it on my nose. I did not. I won't so be I'm going to smell Chai Spice all day. <laughs> I like it. This is an old, like... You okay, though? Yeah. Aww. It's got his allergies on. Yeah. So this is the kind that I had before that I was showing him. And this is another kind does the same thing. You just hold your stitches on there. See the ridge? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the old fashioned one. You really can't. I know it's one bag with three hand lotions. Three, four, oh my gosh. But yeah. It's a, yeah. All of the project bags should have one. I like the EOS ones. They've never broken open in my project bags. Because my, hand, my handbags... And my project bags, they take a beating. Plus, Texas is dry. For some reason, one of the children made me this. I like unicorns, and they made me a unipoo. 
like pin. It was from one of those little things where they color it and then make the pin in like a kit. Yeah. So that's a unicorn toilet? Yes. Gotcha. And I'm like, what? <clears throat> this is my Fitbit dongle for my computer. I was wondering where that was. Found it. Found it. <laughs> oh my gosh, speaking of the EOS, I found it. So one of these I try and put in every project bag. It's another hand lotion. <laughs> Always the hair tie. Because this, this just does what it wants. The one rule, not rule, only thing he's requested is that I don't cut the hair off. Mm -hmm. pretty hair. Aw, uh, thank you. But from when we got married, he's like, please don't cut your hair off. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> this is an entire thing of yarn needles, which is... I was so excited. I saw this at a store, the whole thing. I'm like, okay, yeah, I need that. They aren't the best. It was two fifty also for all of these yarn needles. <clears throat> I like the ones that are pointier at the end. Like you can see these. This is really rounded at the end. I like the ones that are absolutely pointy at the end. You want to go see if we can sand them down on the sander? I can if you like. I wonder if it'll work. Probably can. We have to wear eye protection because. This might not be the highest quality metal. <laughs> Plus, you don't want that shooting back at you. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get dangerous. <clears throat> but yeah, yarn needles always. And little tiny hairbrush. Perfume. I guess I'm worried about the whole not smelling good thing. Let's nail polish, the clear nail polish in case you get a snag in anything. Lip gloss. Yeah, I have a video. Crochet scrunchies. I, I think I call them scrunchies. What do I call them? Mm, let me see here. Gonna open up the new thingy. Sure. We're gonna do this. I've never done this before, Kennedy. Wish me luck here. YouTube. My Melody Crochet. You made this for I don't know. I'm not sure I'm going to tell you to do it right, so I hate to tell you to do it. You know what I mean? Scrunchy. And I was, I am about to do another scrunchy video because you know how they're making the massive ones right now? I have it set. That's actually the next video. I'm doing the massive scrunchy. You call it crochet scrunchy. Beginner tutorial. That's not me. Oh, wait. Is that me? Yeah. Oh, I did it with the Bernat Velvet, but you could use any yarn with that pattern. Let me see what I can do. This is, this is the the snazzy part. Right click, copy, over here, right click, paste. Did it work? Did it work? Yeah. Oh, they let it happen? Yeah. Okay, I do believe that is a link to my scrunchie video. Let me know if it's not, and I apologize if it's not. But, yeah, I have a scrunchie video, and then... I'm doing another one because I'm loving the massive scrunchies right now. Well, they're not really massive, but they're they're about the same size, but they're just really fluffy. And mine wasn't really fluffy. It was more of a functional scrunchie. It's purple. Mm -hmm. Well, it's purple. Oh, and somebody sent me a wonderful tag, so I saved it. It says, Maker's Gonna Make. And notes to myself and pens and more crochet hooks. And more hair ties. That's pretty much it. And just in case, a shawl clasp. Because that's cool. Yeah. Like pretty that. cool, huh? I like the design. Awesome. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm gonna clean up. We're gonna finish this swatch. See if we have time to make some eggs. What are you guys working on? It was messy. There's a lot of stuff in here. What kind of tea is this? It's good. That is mint medley from Bigelow. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, that was so much stuff. <laughs> but this is what I truck around whenever we go somewhere. Oh, cool. I'm glad, Kennedy. I hope it helps. But I will be making the new one, like, next. It's literally next. It's funny that you brought that up. Because <laughs> I am... Um, 
Real, I've been seeing the massive ones whenever I go to... Oh, she's making her socks. Taylor's mm-hmm. making the socks. Oh, how's it going? Do you talk... Yeah. I love it when she tops her hair off. So many people can't... T- she looks so good with short hair, doesn't she? And, oh my gosh, has she done... We're just on the third one of the mile a minute this this year, right? Because it's March. I'm behind on the mile a minute. I'm so glad, Tila. I can't wait to see. I hope you let me see when you get finished. If you show them on social media. Kennedy's doing it. Hexagon cardigan. Ooh, I want to do one. I really need to do a cardigan or seven. Or seven. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> that's the problem. It's like I can't choose the colors that I want to do. I know I want lots, but... I don't know if I want like pinks or all pastels or all brights. And then I'm like, I just need to do one of all of them. All the colors. All the colors. Mm-hmm. Cool. I saw the funniest thing. What was I seeing the other day? Oh, I was over at the thrift store. We have a antique store here and they had some crochet stuff in it. Awesome. Okay, I need to catch up. You're you got me. But I will say that I finished her other blankets in like four months total, hey, like the end. Oh, Connie said something. She said client wants leg warmers, so she's working on it. Oh, cool. I have a pattern for those. How old is the client? Well, how old are the leg warmers for? And Kennedy's using Kobo? Ooh. What's Kobo? It's a type of yarn? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's really nice. Kobo. Kobo. Mm-hmm. It's bamboo. Cool. From Lion Brand, they use a lot of pastels. Really, really pretty. We went and visited that shop that made bamboo yarn. Mm-hmm. That was really cool. Yeah. Oh, but we're over at the antique shop, and I didn't buy any of the crochet magazines because I didn't need it. But I was looking, and they have this little crochet sweater, and I don't know if you guys have seen the watermelon sugar tank top. But it was basically a five-year-old boy in Harry Styles' watermelon sugar tank top in, like, the 1970s. And it was amazing. But it was exactly the same. It had the open mesh with this dra- uh, the same shape and everything. I'm like, oh, that was amazing. <laughs> like, I, I almost needed to get it. But it was a little weird. Old magazines are so strange. They're very touch and go. I'm on my third row of double crochet, and I'm so glad that I found this paper with the questions that I ask myself for our reviews together, because I'm terrible at keeping tabs of the 10 questions. What's up, babe? Oh my goodness, that's so cool! Oh, fun! So what are you doing right now? You're just watching I'm again? I'm swatching. I love this cotton. Okay, so you're on single crochet right now? No, I'm on double crochet. Double okay. crochet means you yarn over and insert. Then you grab the yarn and pull up. Then you yarn over, pull under two, yarn over, pull under two. Cool. It's a tall stitch and it's nice and drapey. Okay. So this is what I usually end up using when I, because it goes really fast. And then, so after this I'll do the half double, which is a little shorter. And then after that I'll do the single, which is the shortest. Awesome. Aside from slip stitch and like other things. As far as getting any height at all, it's the shortest. Looks like you're going really fast with that. No. No? Okay. Because I'm talking at the same time and I'm not that cool. (laughs) The good news is I don't have to count right now. Because then I would just be like literally looking down at my lap. Uh, Yeah. Kelly says she's working on Jada's egg. Oh. Using a variegated yarn that looks like a dyed Easter eggs for a bunting garland. Oh, cute! Did she make them flat? I didn't see that video yet. Are they flat or are they like rounded eggs? Ouch. That hurt. I'm on my half double crochets. <laughs> she has really good ideas of what to do with variegated yarn because it's so true. Sometimes you get variegated yarn and it's super duper pretty. And then you get it home, you're like, okay, what am I going to do with this? Variegated yarn means it changes color. 
in the middle of the scheme. Now, sometimes that's like every like, like that four inches. Yarn? No, because that's a little slower. Okay. But sometimes they'll change color every like two inches. They'll go from blue, green, orange, yellow. You know what I mean? Until he says they're flat. Oh, that's cool for bunting. That sounds really cute. Ooh. So far, I'm liking this. I mean, I knew I would. I love, I love this cotton, but I just can't believe I don't have it swatched. I should do a video swatching it. People ask me about this yarn a lot. But yeah, isn't that pretty? See, it's very open because of that eye hook. They say it's worsted. I feel kind of like it's a DK, but it does bloom afterward quite a bit. Do you guys have any questions about any kinds of the new yarns? Anything you'd like to see reviewed? Some people have been asking me about the big twist yarns, all of the ones over at Joann's. Oh, let's see make a tricorn again. Oh, the husband. <laughs> I have a pattern for a tricorn. It was pretty old, and I need to make it again. So that's going to be coming up soon. So it'll probably be the scrunchie and then the tricorn, which I know, why do we need a tricorn in summer? I don't know, but we do. Because it's fun. Yeah, tricorn, in case anybody's not familiar, is the pirate hat. So I'm going to be making my tricorn, and you'll probably need an eye patch to go with that. R. R. <laughs> you know, stepping into Walmart, <laughs> dressed like a pirate. <laughs> Anybody have any plans for this summer? Anything you want to make? I think we need to go explore a new yarn, yarn store. Okay. What do you think? Sure. Sounds good. We haven't been very deep over into Louisiana. I want to go to Louisiana. It sounds so fun. I bet they have some good yarn stores. And I love hot, spicy food. No hot, spicy food for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> some Creole. No Creole for me. <laughs> I'll take the beignets. Oh, and I love a mint julep. A what? Mint julep. They drink them there. What's it's that? like a sweet mint. I think sometimes they're cocktail, but they're mint and lime. Huh. But I don't do the cocktail ones because I was raised by Disneyland. And they just have like the non-alcoholic ones. And I used to have mint juleps when I was a kid. Cool. Yeah, super <laughs> excited. Hopefully they have those. But they have those in the, they don't call it the Louisiana district. What do they call the Louisiana area? Frontierland? No. Oh, I don't know. They have a section for it in Disneyland where everything's Louisiana y. It's right by Pirates of the Caribbean and all that. Yeah, I'm not, I don't remember. Mark Twain's. Taylor's gonna crochet some crocheting lace on shorts, skirts, and shirts. Cute. That sounds cute. I like to do that also on the edge of dish towels. It looks really pretty. Are you using the, um, I know the cotton, but the shiny cotton. Help me. Not this kind. Mercerized. Are you using mercerized like the thread? What does that mean? Mercerized is a process where you take your cotton and you stretch it. Mm -hmm. And then you spin it. And then they actually heat the edges so it sears the edges and makes them shiny because they pot, they kind of melt it a little bit. I've seen a video on it being done. It was fascinating. Wow. It makes it really strong and shiny. And oh my gosh, if you get a chance, watch a video on mercerization. I'm like, wow, who knew? I'm going to recount because it's been several rows. I want to make sure I'm still at about 21. About 21. How do they heat it? I'm just curious now. It's in a big machine on a spool. So the machine just gets really hot? It gets near a heat source. Wow. Yeah, and it's just kind of <clears throat> stretched and abused until it does what it's told. Oh, Saddest cool. thing ever. Poor yarn. <laughs> Here we go. I think this is my last row of half double crochet. One, two, three. Yep. 
but this is totally, if I'm just looking to make a cotton anything to wear, I love this. I like their thread. Did you get the sale? Did you know that the thread is on sale 30% off one week, and then the next week the yarn is on sale 30% off, and then it just alternates every other week? The girl up front told me that last month. So you just gotta... Yeah, because they don't have the coupon note. anymore. Well, I'm not really keep note. It's more... Well, I guess a mental note. If I go yeah. there and the thread's not on sale, I'm not buying it. I'll be back next week. But... <laughs> <laughs> If it was any distance or I didn't go there frequently, I would just get it because I know that that's not saving much on thread. But it's really close to home. We go there pretty frequently. It's right by stuff that we have to go to every week. So it's a nice distraction sometimes. Yes. He's like, I want to go to Hob Home Depot. And I'm like, well, then we're going to Hobby <laughs> Okay, I'm in the car. Yeah, they're virtually the same parking lot. Yeah, they're like right by each other. It's perfect. We've been looking at summer clothes because it's no joke here. It's going to be hot. It's been a weird winter. Who knows what summer's going to be like. It's like surface of the sun. It's beautiful right now. It's gorgeous. We're in the 70s this week. How about you guys? Weather being nice? I heard Nova Scotia. I know it's still chilly up in Nova Scotia. It's hard to say. Canada's been different this well, year or our friend was telling us that yeah, at least but he's more <laughs> south than your brother mm, gotcha. so but up high i imagine they're still really chilly kelly made some crochet kitchen towel toppers for her aunt using red heart yarn beautiful and she's gonna make some for grandma me too hey odd but nice how are you <laughs> That's so cool. I love tell toppers. Should we do a video on tell toppers? I know it's been done. I don't care. I love them. <laughs> My theory with things being done in crochet before is that we need a lot of them so everybody's gets watched. Because if you don't have 55,000 videos on tell toppers, they're not going to show any videos on tell toppers and everybody needs them. Kennedy's in Wisconsin. She says oh. it's going to be 70 this weekend. Oh, good. Isn't Wisconsin north, like, next to Canada? It's right on up there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm glad it's warming up for you. Gracious. It was cold this winter. Not the whole thing, but it got there. I'm just so glad spring is here. And that'll be nice. Oh, you'll have a nice weekend for the Easter. We're doing Easter on Thursday, actually. Gonna get a hold of the kids and everybody before they go out and see everybody in the world. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> they come and visit early. Mm-hmm. And then we send them off to see, like, because there's a lot of family here for them. So after that, this weekend, they'll go and they'll be exhausted seeing everybody. And I cannot stand cooking a big meal for people who aren't hungry. Because, like, if they have three Christmases in one day, it's like, I'm not going to make a big meal for people who just had, like, big meals. Right. I'm like, we're not trying to kill you. So <laughs> You'd want to be the first person then. Yes. <laughs> so I pull Christmas Eve. <clears throat> Christmas Eve party. We open our presents at midnight. And then usually on Christmas, we go to the movies and just relax. Mm -hmm. It's the best. But slowly, and I do believe this color is just called coral. Just the, I love this cotton in coral. And I love it too. And I was comparing it to some other cottons in case anybody missed it. This is the I love this cotton. And here's one of the variegated colors. You get a little bit less when you get a multicolor one for the same money. I believe it's the same money. Let's double check. Yep, same money, but you get a little less yarn. But isn't that pretty? They have lots of rainbow colors. And this is the Pima Cotton from Cascade. So a little bit more expensive. It is so soft. I love it so much. And it wears really nicely. I use it for disc cloths and garments. But this one I would just use for garments as a rule. And I have three of these in stash. None of which have the label on because it's so shiny and slippy that the labels do not stay on this yarn. 
So I know it's Ultra Pima from Cascade, not the fine. It's the DK weight. And then this one is just some plain old cotton for dishcloth, just to compare in case you haven't seen it in person. I want you to get a feel for what the I Love This Cotton's like. So this is plain old dishcloth cotton from Hobby Lobby. And then this is the closest that I've found. This is the Mainstays cotton. You get the same amount for a little less money, not much less money, um, like pennies less. And it's the Mainstays 100% cotton. And that is pretty darn close. <laughs> they hardly have the color selection. This has, oh my gosh, have you seen the cottons? You've seen me look at these. Most likely. And there's probably 30, 40 colors of the I Love This Cotton. They only had like four colors of this. They have the pastels, the black, and the white. Which is cool. It's soft. But it... Is this what you're going to use for the egg? We might. Okay. We might. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and just single crocheting across. And then I'm going to do a little granny stitch. I think this is my third row of single crochet. Yep. So that's where we are right now. That's really pretty. I love this yarn. See, I love this cotton. I know. Mm -hmm. they, they named it well. Papa Nice says it drapes well. It does. It's so drapey and soft against the <clears> skin. <throat> Great for baby stuff. Great for amigurumi. Because of all those colors they have, I make a ton of my amigurumi. Wow. In the I love this cotton. What's a meager roomy? When you make like a stuffed doll or a toy out of the yarn. Okay. And you use a small hook so there's no opening whatsoever. So you uh. can overstuff that sucker. Okay. Er. Bursting. Yeah. Okay, cool. I like it better than acrylic because acrylic, as it ages, it will stretch. And the cotton won't. So it stays looking nice for a long time. And that color selection is like, oh. And chaining for three and doing some granny stitches just to see. Oh, I do love a granny stitch in this. I might need to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Playing with yarn is dangerous. I have my Easter mug. It's hiding. There you are. It says keepsake. Oh, and you gave me jelly beans. Oh, I got the Easter mugs over <laughs> at TJ Maxx. And I'm just like, oh, mugs. The coffee bar makes me so happy. Okay. My coffee is ice cold and decaf. <laughs> so how is this comparing to that cotton from last week because we did the cotton fair last week which is smaller it's a sport weight but so far just comparing in case you're like comparing which cottons to use for a garment like this is the whole 21 stitches and this is it compared to the I love this cotton. I haven't finished this swatch yet, but it's just so much bigger. It works up so much faster. Hey, Laurel. Oh, it's Laurely. Hey, how's it going? We are swatching the I love this cotton. We just went through my bag. <laughs> We're talking about what to make next, but definitely need a scrunchie. And I love my crocheted scrunchies. I use them all the time. I actually saw crocheted scrunchies on the, there's a website I love for clothes, Natural Life. And they have crocheted scrunchies on there. And they are just so cute, but they're just like the ones, but I'm doing the different style this week. So I have a link to the other ones where you just crochet around a rubber band. These are gonna be the ones where they're very voluminous. So I'm super excited. 
and it just takes a big old rectangle. So easy peasy. I'm glad, Wario. We're doing good. Uh -huh. Ooh, send a bit windy. We're doing really good. <coughs> Popped on on a Tuesday. We'll still be on tomorrow at a regular 10 a.m. This is working out pretty fast. I'm fighting my yarn ball. What's that? Ooh. Let's see. <coughs> Just moving my way across. Congested. Aww. <laughs> we are just getting rid of our allergies here. After the snowstorm, his allergies popped so badly. I'm just catching up. Yeah. The birds are so pretty right now. We put out a bird feeder. It's already empty. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go grab a chicken? I can if you like. Um, Laura Lee says she has a cold front and high winds. 50 oh. to 60 mile an hour gusts. Hide! Oh my goodness. Hide! <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow, if we had that much wind, we would not have any <coughs> kind of reception right now. I'm starting my V stitch. That means I'm almost done. But I'm still, this yarn ball is fighting me every step, every step of the way. Boo! Oh my gosh, he's bringing out Karen. Now Karen is, oh my goodness. Oh, that's so fun. We have amazing birds of prey here in Texas. Oh my goodness. But we go for walks and we're just like, wow. So he's bringing out Karen. And Karen was the little white, yellow, fluffy chick a couple weeks ago. And she's turning brownish, reddish now. So she's in a bit of an ugly phase. So I'm trying not to make her feel insecure. Because <laughs> he's going to bring a chicken out. I'm not going to catch him. Are you afraid? Yeah. Was she odd but nice had to <clears throat> mow yesterday. Oh, her oh, wow. nose is not working yet today. I get that. Bringing out the chicken. Izzy's heading in. Are you grabbing Karen, sweetie? What'd he say? He said he's doing the kind thing. <laughs> um, no. They're all having kind of an ugly phase right now. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I just put it down on the table. It's the prettiest yarn ever. <laughs> Sorry. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at that swatch. It's not done yet. I have two more rows of V-stitch, but I just love this yarn. It just lays. This is unblocked. Nothing done. I didn't tug it. It just works. This is why I look at some yarns that tug in at the single crochet and stuff, and I'm just like, uh. But I just, it makes me happy. I like it. Mm -hmm. Laura has been using Red Heart Scrubby. Yes, yeah, she's, our, our chickens, are, well, we went back and we got four more. So we have four chickens that are about a week and a half. And then we have the older ones, which are, I'm guessing, about, 30 days old today, which is four weeks. Yeah. And so they're not fully feathered, and they're changing quickly, and they're like in the middle of a morph. <laughs> and, hey, Karen. Hey, Karen. It's my girl. 
She's she's sticking with it though. Oh, sweetie. Who's the matter? She's a wild chicken. She said, oh. I did not say I would do. Oh, Hunter's behind her. No. <laughs> yes, they're very <Yes>. talkative. <laughs> she's turning dark. <laughs> She's gone or a black She's going to be so gorgeous. Look at those wings. I mean, she's going to be gorgeous. <laughs> like, yeah, she's like, oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she's just, her neck is changing so quickly. See the back of her neck. I think Hunter is actually scared. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, she's just. Hi. She's sweet as can be, though. She was the cranky one, and now she's just the cuddler. Um, Nug, the black one, he might be a boy. Right? She's not. Can't really <laughs> she's a little insecure. Excuse cool. me. But she's so interesting. Because she has five toes. See those little feet? She has five toes, and she's going to have feathers all down those legs. Aren't they amazing? Oh. But yes, yeah, she is super, super sweet and cuddly. I mean, yeah. she doesn't like being taken out of the cage. Yeah, she's getting she's getting a lot of things, right? <laughs> <laughs> but she's just such a cuddler, and she's just all loving. And her feathers are so pretty. Oh, me? No. Probably me. Oh, you? Mm. Yeah. Most likely. I'm so guessing far, it's allergies. But yeah. Kenny said she has a pair of bald eagles and right next to her house. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, her, she's talking about Izzy's. Izzy's voice. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's growing up. Oh, hi. <laughs> she's back. Can she I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I'm online. <laughs> <clears throat> she says, I like this. Yeah. I, I want to be he's, online. He's 11 now. <laughs> he's always had a deep voice. And now it's like becoming deeper. Here you go. No, 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 no. There you go. But she's <laughs> fabulous. We love her. We're loving them so much. We haven't eaten chicken since we got them. Yeah. We can't now. Yeah, We're related. Oh. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have the buzzards, too. We have and hawks. You've been watching. There's a... I don't know where it is, but there's some park that has like a bald eagle camera. Actually, there's quite a few. It's like a live cam. For I know. Their nest. We've been watching the big bear eagles. Yeah, he's always had this deep voice ever since he was like really young compared to other boys. And I mean, it wasn't crazy deep, but compared to other boys, it was deep. And now his voice is just like. The other day we were in a store. It was not a big store, but he was behind me, and I always do like a little check in. You okay, son? And he said, Yeah, I'm fine. And it was so deep, I thought it was a guy. Like, I'm like, What happened? I had to turn around, make sure he was not taken by aliens. I'm like, What are you doing? Right. <laughs> but yeah, it was fabulous. He's just getting such a deep voice. Mm -hmm. Oh, he got little feathers all over. Yes. She's so cool. But her little white, fluffy, yellowy white fluff, so gone. But we're really excited to have chickens outside. We'll be making the coop. I think I do need a headboard. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure. And then we're making the chicken coop, which is, we probably have about two weeks before we need it. We get buzzards, too. Oh, yes. They will. So, we don't want any. I forget what you call them here. But turkey buzzards. Turkey buzzards. The but, vultures? Yeah. We they're, they're actually uh, huge. They come in groups of probably like six or seven. Gangs. Yeah. <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> they can be terrifying. I'm yes. like, I'm alive. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go for walks and we see hawks all over the place. Mm -hmm. They're so pretty. <clears throat> I'm not sure why this is taking me as long as it is. Just this one row. You ever go really fast and then all of a sudden get on one row and then it just takes you forever? It's like, okay. Three. Last row of V-stitch. <laughs> what I miss? Oh, oh. 
I'm not sure I pronounced it right. Laurel? Oh, Laurel. Laurel. Oh, like Laurel Lee. Mm -hmm. Laurel Lee. Okay. Sorry about that, Laurel Lee. Um, he doesn't know how to say my name either. Don't take that personally. Well, wife works perfectly. Wife. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, turkey buzzards. Yes. We have an um, electrical post next to our house, Massive. and they love to sit on it. Yeah. Well, we just look up, and we're like, what bird's going to be up there now? Right. Yeah. And we have tons of pecan trees. And they love to nest in those. Okay. Let's do a scallop edge and call it. I'm so excited to have this. I'm going to make this a dishcloth. Sorry. Way too excited about this. Dishcloth? So, or is it just the yarn? I just love the yarn. Okay. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, let's ask the questions about it. Just because I know I'm taking forever because I love this stuff. The color range is fabulous. It's one of the best cotton color ranges you are going to find. Oh, they're wonderful. And they're so, so pretty. I'll get some pictures of them for you, Laura Lee. But, oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? And the colors, I'll have to take a picture of the color ranges for the I Love This Cotton sometime, just in case you haven't seen it. You can see it online. I know Hobby Lobby.com has, like the swatches and it's probably 40 50 colors and they literally have them at all the stores they have like four, oh that's a good idea but they have them at they have, they'll have like three turquoises like light medium and dark turquoise and like three reds and just a ton of colors they have like four yellows because you know like a lemony yellow a buttery yellow a golden yellow a mustard yellow and then greens for days. The The color range is amazing, <laughs> which is great for making the Omega Rumi. And then is the, how's the packaging? The packaging is good. Like this has been in stash for a long time. It stays pretty tidy and there's glitter on, on the band. It's a win, right? That's a lot of colors. It's glitter. <laughs> and then is it splitty? No, I haven't split my cottons, but as a rule, Splitting with cotton isn't much of a thing. Okay, I'm doing five double crochets to check out the scallop ability. Drape, it is very drapey. I would give it like a seven out of 10 on the drape. Then soft, I find it very soft. What do you feel? Yes, it's, it's very nice. It's super, super soft. <laughs> and shiny, it is not shiny. It's very, very matte compared to just about all the other cottons. It has <clears throat> no shine. Let's use the black color. I mean, mild reflective ability just so you could see that it's actually yarn. There are some yarns that are so matte, like I like feels like butter. They're so matte and fluffy that you can hardly tell it's yarn once you've made it into something. You lose all stitch definition. It's not that kind of a situation, but there's no shine to it hardly at all. And then squeaky. Nope, no squeak. True to size, very much so. It crochets up nice and big as long as you use the hook that they suggest. But if you use a smaller hook, it can get very, very small. I've used a, an F hook on I Love This Cotton, and it gets really, really small under compression like that. So you can use it for just about anything. Um, is it awesome is always one of my questions. Is it awesome? Is it awesome? Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> completely awesome. I wish that they had it absolutely everywhere. If they sold it at Target, I'd be in financial distress. <laughs> and is it stretchy? No, because it's cotton. That's the good thing for Migurumi. This has no stretch to it whatsoever. And it will make your hands a little tired working with cotton for too long compared to stretchier yarn. But it's pretty fabulous. So, <laughs> definitely worth it. Take breaks, stretch your hands, and you'll do great. Now, does anybody have any questions? I know I've talked my head off. I'm pretty much, and I love this cotton commercial. And I'm not sorry about that. I, this yarn, it makes me very happy. So the name is Justified? Mm-hmm. Now your name's Justified. Justified. Yes. I get that at a stamp. Justin, justified crochet. <laughs> oh my gosh, right? <clears throat> they sold it at Walmart. Yes. <laughs> That'd be fabulous. 
But yeah, my Target doesn't sell yarn. Every once in a while they get like the craft yarn, but not really good stuff. I, I tried to do a review on it once and I don't insult yarn, so you might notice there's no review on it. I just, I tried to use it. I just couldn't. I tried to make a mug out of it. Where'd you get it from? This? Yeah. Hobby Lobby is the only one that sells it. Okay. But you can get it online. And their sales go online. I do not know how much you have to buy at Hobby Lobby for free shipping. But I'm sure it wouldn't be too much. Can you look up at Hobby Lobby and see how much? It should say at the top of the page. Oh, but nice ones to know how many shawls you made there. Um, five. Um, what do you want to search on the Hobby Lobby? Just go to HobbyLobby.com. I made about five shawls out of it. And I'd say one of my favorites, I made a Sunday shawl out of it. I love this shirt. Mm, yeah, but not really that. I'm just looking for how much do we have to buy to get free shipping. Do you know what I mean? So, cart, probably. It has secrets, unless you just don't get free shipping. I guess you could look up I Love This Yarn. But, yeah. I kind of lost it at the end there. There we go. We're just going to call it right there. Boop. Fastening off. Rainbow. Those are your favorite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there it is. Oh, my gosh. It makes me so happy. It's so pretty. But did you see how many colors they have? I did not. So, I love this cotton. I love this cotton. Right now it's on sale for $2.65. Ooh, there you go. And <clears throat> color-wise, it just goes on and on. So what's that? That's like 18 36. What's after 36? So about 50. So about 70 colors. But that includes the variegated. It just goes on and on. I'm going to throw one in my cart and see if it mentions free shipping. Not that I know of. Might be able to find a coupon code though. Unicorn, what happened? She went to the unicorn. Yes. <laughs> but I do love a shawl being in Texas it works in the winter too the cotton it still keeps you warm it keeps the wind off of you and it's just so versatile and colorful I love the I'm trying to think if I've used any other cottons for shawls once or twice but yeah I have I've knitted shawls in I love this cotton I've crocheted a Sunday shawl my B's shawl is I love this cotton. I have an open work one. I did one of my one ball shawls in cotton. I made somebody else a Sunday shawl in cotton. I think I have another one too. But I don't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, it's a favorite and it's so comfortable. And I just, it's a favorite. It's pretty. Are you going to show that comparison? Oh, I shared that one. This okay. is the one we did last week. And this is a smaller yarn. So this is the boop, Cotton Fair from Premiere. And that's how it works up against it. If you're looking to compare, had a little bit of pull in inside on the suggested hook. But same number of stitches. It's three rows of double crochets, three rows of half double, three rows of single crochet, three rows of granny, three rows of V-stitch, and then some scallops on the edge. So same amount of work. Kitty, Kitty wants to know what your favorite color is. Mm, purple. <laughs> purple. That's her favorite in all colors. That one right there, that kind of purple. Oh, uh, like lavender -y? Yeah. Speaking of, did I show you guys my beer? Yeah, um, we did where's last week. The Cotton Fair, where's it from? <clears throat> What's your favorite color of I love this cotton? They have, actually, I love this cotton. I'd say my favorite one is the medium turquoise. What's it called? What's that one? And there's teal print. Their prints are really, no, it's turquoise. definitely 
I like that one, but actually my favorite is probably their rainbow. It's the Eastern Nova. And then, let's see. But I love any of the rainbow ones. And I've made several hats, but they all get taken away. Like the, like the colors get taken away? No, the hats. Oh. Remember like Amber has one? Yeah, people Which donate is, them. I, oh, pink, teal, and orange print is super, super pretty <laughs> as far as like cottons. But their, their prints are gorgeous. Well, this is one of them. So they have one of these, except it's literally rainbows. So it's kind of that light dark of each of the color, and then it's like rainbow, and it's ideal. I am I appreciate it very much. And then, where's what from? Um, I'm blanking. The Cotton Fair, I got it, Michael's. But hopefully, I have three balls of it. Hopefully, we will be making something out of it soon. What do you think? We could do some an egg out of that too. You need a tank top. I think I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can make a tool belt for me. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> so I think we're gonna do our eggs tomorrow. Okay. We'll be back tomorrow at ten AM and we'll be crocheting some Easter eggs and probably a bunny hat for Ooh. the Easter. I like big ears and everything? Yes. Okay, cool. Definitely. And if That's we don't exciting. do it then we'll do a video just separate. And the today in a couple in about an hour hopefully I had a little hiccup. I did a premiere on my your beats my bee, mm -hmm. and for some reason it still said pending. Thank you. But is but for some reason it still said pending after the time it was supposed to post. So I have to go back and check my computer and see why it still says pending. We're going to take off for now, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye -bye. Have a happy Easter if we don't see you again. Otherwise, we'll be back tomorrow. Bye. Hey. Okay. <laughs> oh, see the little X on the top? Got it. Got this. Bye, guys.